Hey, hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a 14 day to tighten those lower ab workouts. So these exercises will be focusing solely on the lower ab region. So when you are doing these exercises, make sure you're really thinking about that mind muscle connection and really squeezing those lower abs together and thinking about working at those muscles. So let's jump straight in guys. Okay guys, so to begin, you're gonna be laying on your back. I want your core nice and engaged. Exercise. And we're gonna come up with single leg crunches. So we're gonna be starting on one side for 30 seconds in total. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna bend that knee, lift it towards your chest. You're gonna lift your head and your shoulder base off of the floor, and you're gonna crunch those abs. Make sure you're contracting as you come up, exhaling, and then inhaling as you come down. Great work guys, let's switch over to the other leg. So same thing, lift up the opposite leg, bring it in towards the chest, exhale and crunch. 30 seconds here. Keep going, keep breathing. Fantastic work. The next move you're going into is bicycle crunches. So I want those legs up and I want you to alternate twisting the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. You're going to make sure you're lifting those shoulder blades off the floor as you twist and try and get those elbows to touch the knees or as close as you possibly can. Keep the core contracted and exhale. Great work guys. Fantastic, let's move on to the next move which is gonna be reverse crunches. So I want you to get those toes to tap the floor and then drive that pelvis up. Keep everything nice and tight and make sure you exhale as you bring those legs up. If you can only lift your pelvis a little bit off the floor, that's absolutely fine, do what you can, but make sure you're really thinking about those lower abs. Fantastic work guys, come straight up and let's go into U-boat toe taps. I want you to be in a U-boat position and I want you to alternate tapping those toes to the floor. If you need extra support or a modification, you can bring your hands down to the side. So keep the core nice and engaged, think about really connecting with your muscles. Excellent, now let's bring those arms behind us and we're gonna be doing M-shaped U-boat crunches. So all I want you to do is imagine with your toes that you are drawing an M. So your feet are gonna to touch the floor three times in total. It's gonna to be to the side, the center, and the side. Keep that core contracted, keep breathing. Great work guys, keep going, keep smiling. Fab work, let's come straight down onto the floor into the next move, which is gonna be open and close leg crunches. So I want you to lay back and I just want you to open your legs and close them. This is gonna to help to really target those lower abs as well as an extra bonus, those thighs. Keep going, keep breathing, keep that core contracted. Fabulous work guys, let's go on to the next move. So your legs are gonna be in a V position spread out and all you're gonna do is alternate between lifting up the opposite leg and elbow to touch each other. And then come straight back down. So lift it up, crunch and down. Up and down, keep breathing. Try and get those elbows and knees to touch if you can. Fantastic, let's switch on over to the other side. It's the same move here, guys, legs in a V position. That's it, bring that leg up to meet the elbow and down. Keep everything nice and contracted, navel sucked in. Keep breathing through. Mm -hmm. 
Next week, guys, it's going to be ball crunches. So all I want you to do is bring everything in to hug each other and then come out. So crunch in tight together and down. Crunch in together and down. Fantastic work. Keep going. In and out. Great work. Keep that core tight. Exhale. Excellent work, guys. So you have a 30 second rest here before we go in again and repeat that all. So you know the moves that are coming up. They're nice and simple, but make sure you really focus on those abs. Watch the screen and listen for the countdown time before we turn over to the next exercise. No more voiceover from me because I want you to concentrate. So let's get it, guys. Get into position.
end of the workout. I hope you guys really did enjoy this one. Don't forget to track your progress over the 14 days and let me know in the comments below how you got on. I really cannot wait to see your results and I hope you all really enjoy doing this for the next 14 days.